Hi kids, I hope you're enjoying our virtual summer program and I'm coming to you this week from the book room again here to read you one of my favorite stories, The Hungry Caterpillar. And just a reminder, you can come down to the book room Fridays noon to four and there are thousands of books for you to choose from. And fr the first Friday, kids get three free books. So come on down. All right, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. Ooh, on Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. These are some of my favorite fruits. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. I just had four strawberries before I came here. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Whoa. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Woo, that's a lot of food. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He would built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow. Check that out. Well, I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next week for some more fun. Bye, kids.